What's going on YouTube? Back at you guys today with a special video. I got this uh, to do, I got a request to do a video on, you know, how I originally got started selling on Amazon, which is selling books. And a lot of you requested that I make a video on how to sell books because a lot of you just don't have the money yet to do private label. You only have a few hundred bucks to get started. So I'm gonna show you exactly how you can get started with anywhere from two to $500. Um, today's 50% off at all the Goodwills in my area, so I'm going to go out literally all day and see if I can get 500 books to show you guys that it is possible to make good money just selling used books from the thrift stores. So I'm going to try and get 500 books today, I'll see if I can do it. Um, like I said, I'm just going to be taking you guys, it's going to be a vlog style video, I'm going to be taking you around on all sorry there's a weird noise on all the, the stores I go to I'm not gonna be able to bring you guys inside but just because it's so packed on Saturdays um, but I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I got and then at the end of the video I'll show you exactly how I go about scanning the books and everything and how I know which ones are profitable because you guys the book business is a super easy business to get started in it's probably the easiest thing to do um, on Amazon just because there's so many books that you can go out and find every single day that I used to do. And yeah, guys, let's see if I can make two grand a day um, and use books. So just stay tuned, guys. It's gonna be exciting. All right, guys, just got out of the first Goodwill. Pulled out about 30 books out of there, I'd say. I got about five or six that were more than $50 a piece. Um, average buy cost is around a dollar per book, which isn't bad. So just on the I literally paid for the whole entire 30 books with one book that I found, so that's good. So the rest is going to be 100% profit, whatever I get back. Um, just to let you guys know, a scanner, this is like a little $48 scanner from Amazon. Super beneficial when you're scanning books, because if you're just trying to do it on the Amazon Sellers app, it's going to take forever and you're going to get really frustrated. This thing, you can just go bang, 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 and just keep scanning all the books. You could scan literally one every second like 60 60 books a minute if you went fast enough so it's really beneficial also I use a scanning app it's called FBA scan and I'll show you what it looks like my phone's all screwed up I need to get a new one but it's called FBA scan and what this is is these are all the merchant fulfilled prices on the books that the blue one is the, how much you're gonna get for sending it in FBA and these are the new prices you're going to want to ignore those and see if I click I always do FBA right so I click on FBA and it shows me my profits only going to be 65 cents so after I spend the dollar I'm actually going to lose money on this book so again I wouldn't buy that but as you can see is that you keep scanning them and then it tells you your profit and then you could subtract how much you're paying for the book and figure out your profit it's super beneficial to have a like a scanning app and a scanner definitely recommend it it's not too expensive you can get this for about the app is about 10 bucks a month and this is about 48 bucks you're gonna make a lot more money if you have this so you're definitely gonna need it so on to the next goodwill I'll catch up with you guys when I get there so guys at the third goodwill on the second goodwill I got about 50 books I got a probably about 10 really amazing books at that store which are awesome I'm at this third goodwill I don't know if you can see that I had to make a quick stop at UPS to drop off a uh, new private label product I'm testing out so that's exciting but yeah I'm gonna go in here um, and get some more books let's see how many we can get stay tuned all right guys just left the second one and just a the last one I mean um, I think that was my fourth goodwill so far and I'm currently at the next one right now on the previous one I got about maybe 22 books I think it was but I got like four or five good textbooks so it was all good I didn't do a lot of volume there but I got some good priced books which is awesome um, I haven't been to this goodwill before so I'm gonna go in and check it out and see how many I can pull out of here Alright guys, just finished up at this last Goodwill. It's getting dark out, so I'm going to head home and get something to eat and be done for the day. I definitely got over 300 books, maybe closer to 400. Um, didn't hit the goal of 500, but it's all good. I had to take care of some stuff earlier, as well as get that uh, private label shipment to UPS. So if I was able to go out for a few more hours, I'd definitely hit the 500 books bookmark for today. 
Um, but yeah, all the stuff's in the back of my car, so when I get home and uh, unload it and everything, I'll be sure to show you guys exactly what I got. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so this is pretty much what I got. I got all these books in here. There's two layers in here. My little setup for my books. Got all these. And I also sent out already a shipment of books yesterday of about 100. So I got about 200 more. Plus these, there's probably 50 in here, all those. And yeah, I'm going to get these all finished up today, sent out. Just I'm just trying to show you guys exactly how I'm actually listing these books also. <clears throat> so what you're going to want to do, right? Usually you're going to have Goodwill stickers on it like that. So you're going to have to take them off with like a tool like this and peel them off. But what I do exactly is I have this software right here called Inventory Lab, right? And what I do is I take my Bluetooth scanner and I scan it in, right? And it puts the barcode up there and it pulls up the books, right? And my buy cost on this was a dollar. It's going for $19.95 in good condition. So my profit altogether on this one book is $11.75. I click add to batch, right? Then right here, this is a Dymo uh, label writer printer and it prints out the label, right? So I'm trying to do this with one hand, but you're gonna pull the label off. Excuse, hold up one second. All right, so I pulled the label off of there. And you have to stick it over the barcode, right? So I'm trying to film this with one hand. That was a pretty crappy job, but um, but yeah, that's pretty much the process. You get all the books, you delabel them. Uh, you don't have to use Inventory Lab. It just helps. It's a lot faster. It tells you your um, total sales value, buy cost, total net profit. And it's just a great tool that I like to use. So if you guys like this video, make sure to subscribe. If you want to see more in depth how uh, my processes of doing books, I don't really do them anymore because I do mostly just private label. But if you guys want another video, let me know in the comments. Make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for the next one. Peace out.